chilly out there today. It, it's chilly. I had to have a scarf on and some gloves at the dog park this yes, morning. Yes, definitely this morning. And I want to point out the sunrise. Did you guys see it? Ooh. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Yeah. People were talking about it, tweeting it, all these photos. This is just one of the photos I've seen. Taken by our own Brent Weisberg here that works at Coin. Went up to the roof. This was the spot to watch it. Absolutely amazing. If you have any great sunrise photos, please send them to our Coin Facebook or tweet me, email me. I love sharing these photos. Temperatures have been chilly today. We've only got to 48 degrees in Portland, 50 currently in Tillamook, low 50s in Kelso, and we've only reached 37 degrees in Hood River. We're already cooling down. Portland is currently at 45, 49 currently in Astoria, upper 40s for Salem. Temperatures in the mid to low 30s towards Redmond, Madras, 40 degrees in the Dalles. Now, your weather headlines for tonight cool and breezy for this evening. We still have those strong easterly winds moving through. Peak winds are tonight and into tomorrow morning. Morning. Our next system arrives for Wednesday, starting at the coast in the morning hours and to the Portland metro area by about midday. We are looking at the potential for some freezing rain in the gorge, mainly up north into the, or excuse me, up in those higher elevations towards Parkdale, Odell, Wednesday evening into Thursday, and a wet and cool day all the way that continues Thursday and into Friday. Let's talk about the winds, though. Currently gusting around 30 miles per hour in Troutdale, almost 30 miles per hour gusts at the Portland Airport, 22 mile per hour gusts in Washougal. We do have a wind advisory that is in effect until tomorrow evening, so winds do continue strong all the way through tomorrow as well. That does continue north of Vancouver, almost to St. Helens, and down to Oregon City out towards Hillsboro with gusts near 35 to even 50 miles per hour possible. Sustained winds around 21 miles per hour out towards Portland, 10 miles per hour in Astoria as well as Tillamook, 16 miles per hour. Now, looking at our wind gusts around the rest of the state, it's also breezy out towards La Grande and Baker City. Gusty winds near Vancouver around 17 miles per hour. Now, let's talk about our next system. It's going to be dropping down and moving into our area starting tomorrow morning early at the coast. You can see it's spinning here. It's a very uh, pretty picture here, but it is going to make quite the mess as it heads into our area. Lots of rain is expected as well as mountain snow. Doppler radar this afternoon. I don't think these showers are actually making it to the ground if there is anything. We've had no rain accumulation today. Mostly cloudy conditions across the region. As we continue through tonight, dry conditions through this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies across everywhere out towards Pendleton and Bend. We start to see the rain moving closer late tonight. Tomorrow morning starts moving along the coast. Some steady showers, especially out towards Lincoln City. By midday lunchtime, we start to see the rain moving in, and then it moves towards the gorge by the mid afternoon time. We start to see some snow moving in. Temperatures dropping overnight Wednesday into Thursday was when we could see some potential freezing rain up into those higher elevations of the gorge. Again, we'll be watching that very closely. Showers continue Thursday into Friday as well. Now, here is a look at our next seven days. We do have rain showers. Very good chances Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Looks like we might see some dry time and then Sunday and Monday. So outdoor activities Saturday will be your day. So cloudy skies for tonight. Those gusty winds do continue right into tomorrow morning. Wind chill factor tomorrow with those gusty winds and cold temperatures we will feel more like 36 when actual temperature reads 42. So heads up if you're out and about early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow temperatures only topping out in the upper 40s. Breezy and wet I-5 corridor towards the coast. A little bit cooler out towards eastern Oregon. So rain, rain, oh, rain. Lovely. A little dry time for Saturday <laughs> and then more rain. So the temperatures in the mid 50s, not too cold, but overnight has been cold because of the clear skies last night. Yeah. But clouds are back. Holy cow, that that's a that's, that's a, a wet that's forecast. A, a great looking seven day. Yeah, <laughs> it's clear. All right.